Okay, so here we have our Arduino Connect software, which is used for the EMG controller. So I always recommend when you get started to start the first attempt of connecting the EMG controller to the software to start in graph mode. So go ahead and select graph mode. Next thing you want to do is make sure your EMG controller hardware is plugged in via USB to your computer. If it's not, then nothing's probably going to show up on this drop down list. But once you have your EMG controller connected to your computer, you can hit refresh if you need to. You should see a device pop up in here. Now, if you're not sure which device it is, you may have to run a couple tests to see if you have multiple devices popping up because you have multiple pieces of hardware connected to your computer. One way around that is take out any USB devices that you don't need plugged into your computer right now, and then you can just see which one the EMG controller is. So I'm going to go ahead and select COM port 3, and I'm going to connect. And this first run through the graph, the graph has to auto scale, and what you'll see is eventually it is going to pop up, and there you go. And so here you can see our data that's going on here. Um, now, right now it's set to auto scale. You can see that with this little checkbox right here. I can uncheck that and it'll stay in the format that it's in right now. And if you wanna zoom in or zoom out, you can do that using the scroll wheel or trackpad or however you usually zoom and scroll. Now, um, what I usually like to do is start out with auto scale, put in a couple put in a couple hard squeezes with whatever muscle group I'm trying to measure and let it auto scale. And then once it has appropriately scaled the window, I can unclick that and use it as I need to. Now, if you ever want to record this data, there's two options for how you can do that. You can export this as a PNG. So you can just export the image here, or you can export each data point as a CSV file. So there's two different options for exporting the data that you're collecting live of your electromyography signal. Okay, when you're ready to stop that, you need to hit disconnect over here. So disconnect. You can see I still keep my last capture here, but at this point, I'm gonna move into key mode. So I'm gonna transfer over here. I'm gonna have to reconnect to the right port. Now, when you're in key mode, there's an extra step, and that's because you wanna make sure you pick what key you want to set your trigger to. So when your muscle activity reaches a certain threshold, it's gonna trigger one of these keys. And so we're gonna leave it at the default right now, which is W and hit run. All right, so if you pull up Notepad, this is one way you can check to see how your program is functioning. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is squeeze your muscle, see if you can measure that keystroke. And you can see um, I'm doing that over and over again as I squeeze my muscle. Now, if you want to use this as a controller in a video game or something else, you're going to need to know what your game's key keys are mapped to. So you need to understand what game you're using and how that game uses the keyboard and how you can map the different keys to what the game is going to be inputting. Because the, the game that you're using is just going to see that keyboard input, even though it's coming from the EMG controller. It's just as if it was being typed on your keyboard. One quick thing you can do is go into your do-it-yourself EMG folder here. We have a couple free games that you can use. These are open source games. So if you wanna go ahead and try those out, they're mapped to the W key so that you can play around with this feature. Okay, so for this one, you can use the W key just by itself on the keyboard. If you want to just test the game, make sure it's working properly. Sometimes you have to click on the game just to make sure it's ready, or you can squeeze your muscle group and try to see how far you can go. The other open source game we have here is a one button Pong, which will change the direction. It's classic Pong, except there's only one button needed because it always, changes direction no matter what you do. And remember, it's just hitting the W key. So a couple different options for you to try out. And of course, you can use your own game 
And if you need to stop that and you want to disconnect, you can either hit pause, which will just stop the input of the keystroke. You could select a different keystroke if you wanted to. You could do space bar or something of that nature. And if you want to stop the program altogether, go ahead and hit disconnect and exit out. Hope you have fun.